Hi, what is up? Warhawk82 here, and uh, thanks for tuning in for another video of mine. Um, basically, I've noticed a few things around the, the map of the Eisendrak um, that other people haven't sort of put up on YouTube or anything like that, and I'm wondering if um, maybe there's some other bits and bobs that we haven't found. Now, you see there, there's a, a pamphlet for the Griffin um, uh, station. And basically, in and around uh, the map, there is a lot of paperwork and a lot of things sort of angled towards the Griffin Station. But also, on the other side of things, it's also linked in to highly into um, uh, 9, uh, 935, uh, which is obviously the group that apparently um, have made uh, the zombies and made the whole, you know, apocalypse and stuff like that. Now, what I noticed is that boat there is actually down in the basement where the teleporter is if you go back in time and you actually press that button and so you go over and press the book to actually get the the, the summoning key um, for when you're trying to do the easter egg and you get towards the end to fill up with souls. Now, if you look here, you've noticed how there's a booklet on uh, 935 and the Griffin Station. Now, in previous uh, easter eggs and Call of Duties, we have actually, in fact, been able to do do two different parts. Remember, you could do the Maxis uh, side of Easter eggs, or you could do the Richtofen side of Easter eggs. And I wonder if there's actually something within the map um, that people haven't really discovered yet, that you can actually go and press a button or do something slightly different, and it actually changes the outcome of the Easter egg. Because I've also noticed that there's a lot of these books dotted around the map, and they're literally, they're, 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 all the other books are plain. But these books have specific titles, and the specific titles is like things like uh, Secret Rulers of the Earth, um, Mythical Creatures, just, you know, the scientific regenerations of te tele teleportation or something. There's all these sort of weird things, and obviously all these notes and, and other such things hidden around um, around the map. So I just wondered if there was maybe an easter egg that nobody's found yet because this map is is crammed with easter eggs that people haven't discovered or people have found through time and doing a bit of this. Like they recently found that you, you get the plunger. If you kill a, a, a panzer with a plunger, it, next once you've done it, you get like an electrical sort of like regeneration thing to it. So as soon as you stab a panzer, it's like having pop shocks. So you just run over and just stab the stab the panzers and stuff like that. Which obviously is amazing. But I noticed that they did bring that or it did introduce that into um the zombies once there was an update. So maybe we haven't even got the other side of things yet. Maybe the the holding stuff back and every time there's a little new update people can find a brand new little Easter egg which obviously I think is, is found um a lot throughout the all <coughs> found a lot throughout the the whole zombie experience. Um, like I said, there's, there's things on the walls, there's numbers, there's figures, there's codes, there's there's ciphers, there's there's just so much information put into this map that people haven't really looked like greatly into depth with. Um, if you look here, just where the, um, which I noticed, is um, just in the power room where you turn the power on, right next to that um, clipboard with a white bit of paper, there's a little uh, dark green book or dark blue book and if you look there carefully it says the German military zombie manual now why would they need a manual for the zombies and have you noticed there there's 115 on the crate as well the numbers now he's he's a little thing that I was um, a little thing I was thinking of as well by the way um, you know when you change you know when you set the clock off and you set the clock to 935 which is the number for the group you then go into um, the the pyramid area and there's um, the possibility, like you have the electrical sort of charge above the pyramid where you can actually jump up and um, you jump up on one of the like the little, I don't know what they're called, like, a, like, a, like the... The shrine symbols, we'll call them. You jump up into one of them and it teleports you back in time. But if you put the number three, if you stop the clock at 935, it is always the same number. It is always the same number. Uh, just to quickly jump on something else there. There is a teleporter and there's a guy with a knife stood next to somebody else. Is that Maxus getting attacked? Or Richtofen getting attacked maybe? And there's obviously... It looks like um, uh, zombies there with the green, Samantha with the S. I don't know what she's walking on, uh, but there's sort of a rocket, the boxes there, that's the box below, the teddy bears there. And Samantha have drew these, these are all in Samantha's rooms. So there's, there's, there's little indications to like, you know, show that 
there's something a bit more to this map and a bit more to the story and the whole thing and um, as you can see there the the keeper seems to have crept into the room with uh, on a night where Samantha is now I thought she was scared but if you notice where it says the word me under a bed there's a smiley face so is does that mean the keeper's trying to protect her as he maybe took Samantha to another realm to look after her and if you look there as well it says me and fluffy so and, and the dog the dog actually looks like quite quite happy and also um every time the the, the hellhounds actually go to attack if you're Richtofen it goes down down fluffy something like that you know so obviously these are uh, these are you know these are all hidden little messages also there you see it says 2-2 two, two. there's a 2-2 two, two secrets with the upside down up down sign smiley face but it looks like the box and it says uh, Dr. Delph has hidden secrets or something you know something that's similar to, to, to that um, and again there's there's another book with um, you know like another title on it um, and you know getting back to what I was saying if you if you change the, the the time in the clock tower to 935 then you go through one specific it's always the same one specific um, uh, ritual symbol which is built you know down in the pyramid area now I'm thinking there is maybe another three um, another three uh, times that you maybe have to set the clock at and then um, uh, uh, another teleporter will actually open so one of the other symbols you might be able to teleport in if it's hit by lightning it could be um, half past eight because I noticed um, in the church area on the map there's a time for half past eight and um, there again there's Fluffy look and he, he likes Samantha so you know and obviously that's what the hellhounds are called down fluffy and I don't know who that is but there's like I don't know it looks like it looks like Slenderman but I, I'm not too sure on that one maybe maybe somebody else could help me on that so what I'm thinking is in the teleporter room maybe you change the clock to a certain time and when you change the clock to a certain time you go back to um, you know you go back to, to something also have you noticed that there's the symbols if you're doing the pink bow there's the symbols of the the crown the the griffin and the something else and and maybe maybe again maybe that's something that you do you just put them symbols in when the, you know when you fill in the pink bow up maybe you put them symbols in instead and, and, it, and it does something for you um you know there's, there's so much stuff that is possible in this map which i don't think anybody's found because everyone's obviously spent a lot of time trying to do the easter egg and they're trying to um they're trying to like get the solo runs done in the high rounds now i think there's a bit more to this map than people have found i've got a second part uh, to this so please feel feel free to tune into that if you want to see where i'm going in that direction of things um but for now i'm going to just uh leave it at that till the next video and um, which will be out very shortly so thanks for tuning in warhawk 82 out peace